natural number n such that 2n is a perfect square. So we have got n, 2n is a perfect square, 3n is a perfect cube and 5n is the perfect fifth power. So basically n is getting multiplied by 2 as well as 3 as well as 5. So let us assume the n is nothing but that is basically equal to 2 raised to power a into 3 raised to power b into 5 raised to power c. Why I am taking only the powers of 2, 3, 5? The reason is because n is getting multiplied by 2, 3, 5. So the only the power of 2, 3 and 5 will be get affected here. Okay. So 2n is nothing but that is equal to 2 raised to power a plus 1 into 3 raised to power b into 5 raised to power c. And this is a perfect square. So this is a perfect square. It means nothing but that is a plus 1. It is must be as well as b as well as c. They must be a multiple of 2 then only it will be a perfect square like 2 square, 3 square, 4 square or maybe 2 raised to power 4, 3 raised to power 4. They are perfect square. Now the value of 3n, the 3n is nothing but that is basically you can say uh, the value of 3n is 2 raised to power a into 3 raised to power b plus 1 into 5 raised to power c. And here this 3n is nothing but it is a perfect cube. So if it is a perfect cube, so a plus 1 okay, as well as not a plus 1, I will say rather instead of a plus 1, I will say only a, b plus 1, okay, a and c. It must be a multiple of 3 because it is a perfect cube here. Similarly, 5n is 2 raised to power a into 3 raised to power b into 5 raised to power c plus 1. So this implies nothing but that is the value of a, b and c plus 1. It must be a multiple of 5 here. So I am just adding 5k here. So, if you compare from all these three conditions, what are the different conditions? That A, if you look at here, A, if I concentrate on the term A, just a minute, okay. So, if I concentrate on A, so A plus 1 is nothing but that is a multiple of 2, even number, as well as A should be a multiple of 3, as well as A should be a multiple of 5. So, what is the smallest number which will satisfy these three conditions? So, since it has to be a multiple of 5, so let us say 5, 10 and 15, the smallest possible value of A is nothing, that is basically 15 here. Why? A is a multiple of 5, so 5, 10, but 10 is not a multiple of 3. So, if I take the next multiple of 5, which is 15, so 15 is a multiple of 5, 15 is a multiple of 3 and 15 plus 1, 16 is a multiple of 2 also. So, this implies A is nothing but that is 15. Similarly, I can say B should be an even number. 2k and b plus 1 it is nothing but basically it is the form of 3k and c b should be also a multiple of 5 here. So I need to select such a value of b which is a multiple of 5 as well as multiple of 2 and when I am adding 1 it must be a multiple of 3. So one of the ways you can take the LCM or just start taking a multiple of 5. Multiple of 5 is 10 then my next multiple of 5 is nothing but that is 15. Okay. But 10 plus 1, for, okay, you can say I think the smallest possible value of b is nothing but that is equal to 5 itself, no, 10, no, 10 plus 1 is not a multiple of 3, if I take 15, 15 is not a multiple of 2, so b is a multiple of 5 as well as a multiple of 2, so it must be a multiple of 10, remember b is a multiple of 5 as well as 2, so it must be a multiple of 10, and if I add 1, it must be a multiple of 3, so start working on a multiple of 10, 10, then 10 the next multiple is 20 and 20 plus 1 is 21 which is a multiple of 3. So b is nothing but basically I can say b is equal to 20. Similarly, I can talk about c. The value of c it is nothing but it is basically a multiple of 2. Take care c is also a multiple of 3 and c plus 1 it should be a multiple of 5 here. So, what is the smallest number which is a multiple of 2 as well as a multiple of 3 which will satisfy the first two condition of C that is 6 okay, and multiple of 6. So, I will take 6 but 6 plus 1 is not 6 2s are 12, 12 plus 1 is not a multiple of 5, 6 3s are 18, 6 4s are 24. So, the smallest possible value of C is 24. Why? 24 is a multiple of 2, 24 is a multiple of 3 and 24 plus 1 is a multiple of 5. So by combining all these three, we can say that the final answer for this question is nothing, but it is basically n, the smallest value of n is nothing, but that is equal to 2 raised to power 15 into 3 raised to power 20 into 5 raised to power 24. And this is the correct answer. So I hope that this is clear to you now.
So this is our answer.